we've noticed a trend in criticism of female characters that they're too capable. Um, we're not capable enough. We seem to have this <laughs> weird debate. So we're going to talk it out and drink some afternoon tea. I thought about this because I recently saw 10 Cloverfield Lane. No spoiler section here. The protagonist finds herself, you know, she gets in an accident, she wakes up, her knee is in a brace, and she's chained to a pipe on the wall. And she spends the next probably five to seven minutes of screen time trying to escape from the room. She does everything she can to like get herself off the wall, get herself around the room, and she does this for a couple of scenes. And walking out of the movie, I just overheard, you know, some people and some people felt like, oh my god, I love how she just got herself right out of the room, or she really, really tried to figure out what was going on, and other people thought, I hated how she just immediately jumped up and tried to do that. I just didn't really care, and I'm like, okay, I just feel like we're in this point, culturally, where we're looking at these strong female characters, characters that have agency, that are active, that have goals. Those are the things that make characters characters, that make us relate to them. And for some people, if the women have too much of that, mm -hmm. it's unrealistic. And if they don't have enough, like if, you know, in the beginning of this movie, she just sat and cried in the room, I don't think any of us would be cool with that either. We'd be like, all right, what's she doing? I recently, we both saw um, Midnight Special, which has a scene where Kirsten Dunst- No spoilers. And no, don't I mean, worry. No spoilers. Kirsten Dunst is chained to um, she's like zip tied to a, a bathroom towel bar yeah or like a one of those handicap accessible Brace, yeah. um bars in the in the shower <laughs> and she manages to free herself from it by pulling it out of the wall and then by the way rescue the two like highly like, capable highly capable men uh, that are chained out uh outside my first gut reaction was like how did she pull that out of the wall and then I, I checked myself, you know, because I thought to myself, no, no, like, you know, there, the situation that that character is in in that moment, if that situation doesn't give her that boost of adrenaline, you know, that lets a grandmother lift up a car, then what will? Because that is clearly a moment of very mm -hmm. high stakes, very, like, very do or die. She has a really specific goal and she needs to get it now. My first reaction was, she's too capable in this moment. Yeah. And I had to rethink that because yeah. it's it's like internalized misogyny. Yeah. I never never would have questioned if it had been one of the guys. Yeah. Well, and we saw this with Ray. Like, there are so many people that thought she has too many skills. She has too many abilities. She figured out how to use a lightsaber right away. Even though Finn also figures out how to use a lightsaber right away. And we also saw um, her fighting with her staff like really yeah, really like, well earlier really in the movie. We, we know she knows how to you know, do that. And so in these. In like uh, big genre movies or action movies, often we have to see the character's skill set at the beginning of the film, and then we see how that set changes and develops through the obstacles that they overcome. But I do think that with kind of strong female characters, we're getting a little bit of women who can do everything and it's unfounded because they want to make them cool and kick ass. I think the problem with those strong female characters isn't that they can do too much, it's that that's the surface of their character is mm -hmm. all there is. They yeah. aren't explored any deeper, yeah. whereas the character in Midnight Special, the character in uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane, these right. are fully characters. Their um, physical skill set doesn't replace mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. emotional characteristics that make them mm -hmm. a full-rounded person. Well, and even like some of these like tough female characters, like I'm thinking of in G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra, um, wow, I know pulling that out. out of here. <laughs> There's a, a female character that's like a really good fighter, but at one point we have to discover it's because her dad taught her how to do that. You know, like they gain a skill set from, and she has her entire arc is like a sort of like reconciliation with the father thing. Now, are you saying that because you think that's a good reason to have those skills, or in like this case because she's sort of a flat character to begin with? I felt like relating any stronger or more skills that gave her greater ability and agency back to a man 
was uh, not ideal. I guess it's better to give them back to her dad who's looking out for her well-being yeah. than to say she was raped and then had to learn how to fight That's defend absolutely herself. better. Please don't do that. <laughs> that's a terrible backstory. Yeah. Um, and not, that's something that happens a, to women. Yeah, but that's like, a thing that happens. I mean, I, I like... Bad stuff happens to women besides rape. I hate <laughs> to break it to you people. And plenty <clears throat> of women who have never been raped learn how to defend themselves because we're all in danger of that all the time. Because we're made to be afraid of that. You know, like, so many self-defense classes for women are marketed, like, oh, yeah. don't let yourself get attacked. Yeah. And then there's all those internet chain letters that are like... Here's how to keep yourself from getting tied up. Here's mm-hmm. how to keep yourself from being put into a car mm-hmm. trunk. There are Pinterest <laughs> boards with this shit. Like, it's crazy. I mean, they make hairpins that can also pick locks. Oh, and yeah. they make um, those, like, cat... Oh, I, uh, yeah, the cat knuckle keychain. keychain. That are illegal in some states. <laughs> yeah, just... Mm-hmm. Uh, there's this whole cottage industry of arming women with the yeah. skills and the knowledge to defend themselves. And then when you have women in movies like using those skills it's too much to be believed yeah. Yeah, it's like i'm sorry can i'm if i never see another horror movie where a woman is trying to get into her car and drops her keys oh like i can't think of a single woman who would ever do that just because we've seen that because you're carrying your keys with the key out yeah for your ready car to go. ready to like, go oh, where are my keys? <laughs> like we're all avoiding the situation yeah yeah <laughs> the point we have is that <laughs> when you see a woman, you know, behaving capably in an action movie, maybe don't let your first Sorry. reaction to that be, she could never do that. Yeah. Because, you know, there's lots of things men do in movies that they could never do, and we never think that's it's unrealistic. A it's a movie. And it also isn't unrealistic. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to... Go ahead and say that I want to elect Kirsten Dunst's That's character Midnight from special. Midnight Special because she was a member of a cult, but she left. Mm-hmm. And she left out of the impetus to protect her son. So she has like really strong ideas of like what's yeah. right and wrong in that and she's given willing situation. To, to make personal sacrifices for what's right. Yeah. Yeah, she'd be great. I feel like. I would like to read Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character in 10 Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. I feel like she does have a lot of really cool character growth um, in that movie. Just really personal character growth. I think she figures out a lot about herself, which is awesome. I really want to give Ray an army. Uh Uh-huh. I mean, did we already give Ray an army in a previous video? No care. We'll give her another one. Give Ray another army. But probably not the last one. Probably not. <laughs> there are two more movies. If you have questions you'd like to see us tackle in a Q&A episode, please give them to us below. We love hearing from you, and mm-hmm. we will write back, and we'll make a video in which we'll talk about mm-hmm. you.